Joey Luthman. I'm Elise Luthman. And this is the, the Joey and Elise Show. Yay! Yes, here we are on location from Hollywood, California. And our guest today. Yes, let's talk about our guest. Thank you. Our guest today is Taylor Beckett a talented 18-year-old singer, songwriter, and actress who has been entertaining since age five. Yeah, and uh, she's from El Paso, Texas, and she's got a very cool, uh, like, unique style of, of uh, music, of pop, country, R&B, and Latin music. At age 14, she was invited to sing on Mexico's version of America's Got Talent and became a finalist. Yeah, and uh, I actually just recently saw her performing at the uh, a few weeks ago at the Rolling Stones uh, 2011 Teen Choice Awards after party. Uh, that place was huge, it was packed, but it was a lot of fun, and she did really well. Uh, and um, she's, uh, she's also performed at Universal City Walk, the Ford Theater, the Celebrity Center, and um, many other venues. Ooh, can't get any better than that. Yeah. <laughs> um, her recent songs include Pretty White Lies, Believe in You and Me, and Little Girl, who, which are available on iTunes in maybe a week or two. Yeah, and she can talk about that with us. Uh, and uh, on top of her singing, she's also a very talented actress. And uh, she's appeared on TV and commercials, and she's actually recurring on uh, A&E's hit show, uh, Gene Simmons' Family Jewels. So this amazing young lady does it all, and we are thrilled to have her on our show. So without further ado, um, here's Taylor. <laughs> well, hello, Taylor. How hello. are you? I am great. How are you? It's great. Awesome. Um, and it's good to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. So um, I guess the first thing I have to ask is, um, how, uh, how, because I know you're from Texas, so how long have you been in L.A.? I have actually been out in L.A. for um, about four years now. Good. And how are you liking it? It's good. It's, it's good. Cool. It's um, probably, not, probably not quite as hot as Texas. Uh, not where I live. It's pretty hot. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. But it, it's, yeah. it's, it's fun. I like it out here. It's, it's a lot going on, and it's yeah. a good place to be. Um, yeah. So... So you've been here for a long time, so maybe, do you have any funny stories about, like, your... Oh, wow. Interesting experiences. Um, well, I've met some celebrities that are, you know, really, really nice people, and I've also yeah. met some people that are very rude. <laughs> and, you know, I won't say a celebrity's name in particular, but mm. I remember one time I was at a restaurant, and um, a certain Disney star had some fans come up to her, and she was just really rude and was like, I'm not taking a picture with you right now, and... Mm -hmm. He's little, there were little kids, you know, and I was just I was kind of heartbroken. I was like, oh, it's horrible. Yeah. So maybe not some funny stories, but some but some, some bad encounters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, you've been singing for uh, a long time, for like almost all your life. Mm -hmm. And uh, who are some of your role models that you look up to? Um, I would definitely say some of my role models are um, Christina Aguilera. She's been a huge influence on me. Um, in fact, her album Stripped is actually the reason I started to sing. Um, my music, I really want to focus on, on being able to change people's emotions and the state of mind that they may be in, and if they're not feeling good, to know that they're not alone in certain aspects of life. And, um, you know, that, that CD really did it for me, so I would say that's probably my biggest role model. Yeah. Um, well, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, besides Christina Aguilera, is there anyone else that like, you would really want to work with? As um, well as like uh, you know, like acting, you know, like role models. Right. right. Um, as far as singing goes, any of the legends, you know, mm -hmm. Celine Dion is a huge favorite oh, yeah. of mine. I've always wanted to see her in Las Vegas. Oh, um, yeah. As far as acting, I'd have to say um, there aren't exactly certain people, but certain kind of actors. Um, you know, I like the dramatic stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of my favorite shows is Criminal Minds. Oh yeah. And I, I love that. So I mm -hmm. that that to me is you know. Yeah. Something I'd enjoy. Yeah, so you're more of the serious kind of Yes, vibe, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm not dramatic. that funny. So. Oh, well. <laughs> hopefully. Well, I, we, we're laughing. Oh, yeah. well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I can hold my own TV show being funny. Oh, but. well. <laughs> um, so, uh, do you have any, like, um, new music that, you, uh, that you're working on or has just come out? or? 
Um, actually, I am. I do have a, my new song, Without You, is going to be up on iTunes. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited about that and the release of that. And I'm actually working with a few producers right now to get some new material. It's been, it's been a rough process mm -hmm. being out here and working with certain people and, and things kind of falling through sometimes. But I'm really excited. I finally have some stable, really good producers that are going to produce some really great songs in like a pop R&B kind of vibe. Cool. So I'm really excited about that stuff coming up. And for your past music, where can, uh, where can people like find it? You can find it on youtube.com slash taylorbeckett101, um, facebook.com slash taylorbeckett, mm -hmm. um, myspace.com slash taylorbeckett101. Okay. So, yeah, there's, there's plenty to see on iTunes as well. Cool. Now, uh, you're talking about your new song, uh, Without You. Mm -hmm. uh, well, can you or would you like to perform a little bit for us? I would love to perform a little bit. Okay, well, let's see. just a bad relationship that I was in and then once I decided and kind of got a clue about it I decided I didn't want to be in it anymore and just realized like how much stuff I was really missing out on and how I wasn't being myself and and certain things like that so I just I wanted to write it and just so that other people can realize that sometimes we may not see it while we're in it but once you get out it's, it's sometimes a lot easier to see that that person wasn't the right person for you yeah so and uh that yeah, and uh, just a second here, we're going to show um, a little music video that you've done. Uh, now tell us about what, um, what's the uh, story of it? So this is actually a music video kind of montage. Mm -hmm. It's basically um, pictures of me growing up as a little kid um, based off of the song that I have called Little Girl. Mm -hmm. And um, it kind of, I kind of grow with the song. And the song is just about, um, you know, a little girl you know, played make believe and, and loved little dolls and stuff like that and all she wanted to do was sing. So it's really my entire life story in a nutshell, in a three minute song. <laughs> and um, I thought that the most personal way for other people to be able to see it is to realize maybe maybe we can't picture it exactly towards, you know, someone that we know, but with the fact of me putting in pictures of myself and the growth of that a parent sees it, can understand the love and, and mm -hmm. the growing process of their child, and you know, yeah. a friend sees it, and, and so that's why I chose to do the pictures with it. So, um, yeah. you know, and give a little bit of, of my personality and, and who I've been and how I am, you know, where I am now and what I've been through. So it, it's, it's, it's good. Well, I cool. like it. I'm really anxious well, to see that now. Thank you. Let's go ahead and watch it. Thanks. This little girl, like other girls, played me. Even loves her dolls So full of lies So full of fun And this little girl She had a song She woke up singing Every day Music was her only way She dreamed herself A fantasy of how her life Was meant to be 
Fantastic! Now, you've been doing this for a while, so you probably know, uh, you know, what you're doing, and you know, as far as singing, yeah, yeah, you're pretty experienced as far as singing uh, and acting. So, what would you say um, would be good advice for like new singers or actors? Wow, <laughs> that's a hard question. Um, well, I would say to people that are kind of trying to get into it, make sure it's something you really, really love and it's something that you're completely passionate about because if you're not, it is not worth the mm -hmm. exhausting days of work and the, the no's that you're going to get and just, just mm -hmm. being turned down all the time. So if it's not something that you are willing to give up your life for, then it's probably not something you should do because it's really mm -hmm. hard. But for the people that do feel that way and, and feel that it is something that they can't live without, Honestly, just do whatever you can. Get out there, put your videos on YouTube, yeah. you know, get a fan base, do as much as you can, put yourself out there is the biggest thing I can say because, you know, no one's going to know who you are and in, in this day and age, the internet has been such a great thing for, you know, being able to be discovered or yeah. show, you know, your kind of your clout in mm -hmm. this business and I would just say, you know, just put yourself out there as much as possible, perform as much, yeah. you know, and, and things like that. Yeah, and yeah. just put like your whole... Yeah, just keep promoting. Unfortunately, you gotta put your whole life on the internet, but <laughs> well, yeah. no, yeah, it's it's a good thing though because mm -hmm. then you everyone can see you, they can hear your music, you know, yeah. as much as you can. 
It's a good way to promote. Mm -hmm. It's a very good way to promote. Oh, yeah. It's pretty much the only way to promote yeah. nowadays. I don't think anyone sends out flyers of, oh, my song's on YouTube or my song <laughs> is on iTunes. You know? yeah. yeah. It's a lot more cost efficient as well. Yeah. So, um, do you have any goals for like now? Yeah, um, my goal is, is basically, now that I'm finally with some stable producers, to, um, to get my music, um, get a good mix of some songs, and um, have them shop to record labels, and um, hope that one of them hits, and uh, kind of, you know, it's a long process after that. Mm -hmm. Getting a record deal doesn't really mean anything at this point nowadays. Yeah. So really, you know, having somebody put the time and the money and effort into me as an artist, and um, hopefully have something hit through that, and then... You know, if that was to happen, I would love to go on a on a you know world tour, I'd oh, love yeah. to win a Grammy. I'd mm -hmm. love to perform with um, Celine Dion or Christina Aguilera, mm -hmm. some of my idols, mm -hmm. or do like tributes. And you know, I know that um, they just did like a Britney Spears tribute Ooh. for the MTV or MTV Music Video Awards, and that cool. would be really cool to be able to do something like that. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that's something I would look. I would be looking forward to if, if this all works out. Yeah. Okay, so now, <laughs> well, um, so let's talk about family. Do you have any siblings or? I do. I have a little brother. Um, I have my mom and dad who are completely supportive. Um, it's it, they've been really great through this process. They moved their life out from Texas for me, and my little brothers had to deal with a lot of this and mm -hmm. just not knowing what's going on and stuff like that. Yeah. So he's been he's been a good supporter of me as well. But my parents have really just shaped the whole thing for me. Mm -hmm. They've, you know, put their time and money and effort into this and I'm very thankful for that. Yeah. And we were just asking just because we got we've got a big family. Not including us, it's five more, so uh, it's a yeah. big family and they um, most of them are uh, either out of college or still in college. Mm -hmm. So they uh, but they all know what's going on and uh, they all act too. They were all in uh, theater and um, Yeah. Yeah, they uh, my brother Jonathan, he's doing commercials, so Jonathan. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. No, I mean, yep. the supportive, if you're, if you're all in the same business, it's a lot easier. Oh, yeah. You get the support from other people, and, you know, getting turned down isn't as hard, because mm -hmm. everybody knows what it's like. They can relate yeah. to you. Yeah. So, yep. I completely understand. Yes. <laughs> and uh, now we actually have a video here of when you were younger. Doing, really? Uh, yes, doing past Hollywood uh, talent shows here. Oh, yes. my gosh. Oh, are we going to watch that? We're going to watch it right oh, now. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, 
it, it was great then, but it shows how much, uh, you know, how much you've grown up until now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that is true. That is very true. It was about 14 and 15 in some of those videos. So. Yeah. Uh, so, I wanted to talk a little bit about charity. Uh, are you involved in any, you know, charities that you're... I am, actually. Um, charity Water, which is a program that uh, goes all over the world to villages that don't have clean water and builds wells and um, actually takes the water from the ground so that people can get clean water because that's the basis of our entire mm -hmm. life is yeah. clean water. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm involved with them. I'm involved in, um, every year in L.A., they do a uh, Kids for Cancer Research um, Run Walk 5K, and I'm involved in that. Um, cancer is a very dear thing to me. Um, one of my best friends actually died from cancer mm -hmm. a few years ago. So it's a very, it's a very intense thing for me. In fact, um, this past week I just lost my dog. She died of cancer as well, so those are very important charities to me. And um, yeah, that's, that's that's really what I'm I'm working on, and that's another thing that mm -hmm. kind of involves itself in the music is I really want to be able to to be financially helpful, you know, yeah. have my voice be able to help and yeah. and things like that, and charity benefits and, and things mm -hmm. things of that nature. I would really love to do. Yeah, and I'm also like in, uh, involved with Saint uh, Saint Jude, which is uh, you know uh, cancer related. Yeah. And uh, as well as um, I like I like helping uh, you know children because yeah. uh, like the Starlight Children uh, you know foundation oh, okay. that's uh, that helps like children and families mm -hmm. and um, uh, I like that you know interacting with them and uh, as well as the Ronald McDonald Foundation that's um, I like those two programs uh, and they uh, I don't know, something about you know seeing the the joy of kids' faces when they're you know happy and they're smiling and it's it's a great feeling. Right, yeah, and in fact, um, I almost forgot, one of the charities is uh, Operation Gratitude, and they actually send um, military care packages overseas to the troops, and um, I've actually volunteered there, um, I'm going to be singing at one of their upcoming events, and um, it's, it's a really great charity, it, you know, yeah. it's, it's all the least we can do, mm -hmm. they're over there giving their lives for us, so I mm -hmm. think that's the, the least that, you know, I can do as a person. Is, um, yeah, it's a good to... Um Contribute to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Well, uh, so now, amazing. Yes. <laughs> so now, um, let's talk about fan mail. Fan mail, yes. Fan mail. Um, let me see. So I love fan mail. It's yes. great. And uh, <laughs> unless it's hate mail, if you actually yes, if it's, it's positive, it's wonderful. Thank you, Buffy. Yeah, and if, if anyone wants to send me fan mail, they can you know obviously send it through the internet. Yeah. But um, if they want to send anything hard copy. They can send it to uh, my managers. Mm -hmm. It's um, Brilliant Talent Management, and uh, you can find the address on um, IMDb. And they can okay. find all the info there and uh, yes. send me anything they want. And just in case you uh, missed the previous um, links you were talking about earlier for uh, you know finding her music online, uh, the uh, lovely if you could repeat it for us. Yes, um, facebookcom slash Taylor Beckett, which is T A Y L O R. B E C K E T T, or YouTube.com, same spelling, <laughs> slash Taylor Beckett 101, or MySpace.com, slash Taylor Beckett 101. So, any of those, you can find me. You can find me on iTunes just by searching Taylor Beckett or uh, Pretty White Lies. Well, cool. Well, great. Uh, thank, thank you, you very me. much for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. It was great. All right, so the fun thing we're going to do, we're going to dance off. We're going to play oh. some music and dance oh, off. Oh, we dance off. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. All Ready? All right, sounds good. Here we go. And go. Joey and Elise from the Joey and Elise show. Yeah. So we want to tell you guys if uh, you know for all of you guys who want to send us you know uh, to criticize the show, yeah. please send your comments to www. What's wrong with you? Who do you think you are? I don't even care. I bet you couldn't even think two words in a row. And you are not as important as me. dot com. But for all of you who would like to compliment and support our show, please send your comments to the Joey and Elise show at aol. dot com. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.